Welcome back to Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. I'm RJ. I'm on top. Justin's on bottom. What's up? Thanks for joining us. Uh, <laughs> that sounded wrong, but hey. talking about the split screen here. <laughs> and uh, we are playing the second level, aptly named Halo, and we must search for survivors. Foe Hammer has dropped a Warthog, so this will be the first official driving of the Warthog. Ready to go? I need a gunner. When do we get to fly that thing? Unfortunately, you never get to fly that. I think uh, one of the later games, they do let you fly it in like one mission or something, but that's about it. And uh, we're off. Now, this part is a little bit tough to figure out where you're going. At least it is for me. But, uh... Uh-oh. Skirt. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Here we go. As the Halo tune plays, definitely pretty pumped up to go find some survivors. Now, we gotta say, I mean, survivors are really not going to be a huge help in this game. Uh, but, hey, must this save the human race here. Formation. Someone built it. So this is a pretty cool area, wouldn't yeah. you have to say, Justin? Yeah, it looks like some kind of underground, uh, I don't want to say laboratory, but I'll be proven wrong. Something you got to say about the Forerunners and their technology here in this first Halo game is that apparently they don't believe in straight lines. Uh, you know, any hallways that they make that we'll be walking through many times upcoming, um, <laughs> You have to go zigzag just to uh, figure out where you're going. I don't know what the hell that is. It's interesting. Hmm. Uh, now, this is a mini puzzle as I am trying to figure out the controls here to the Warhog or at least re establish them. Yeah. Okay, so basically, we're just going to need to gain enough speed at this jump here. This is a part that might give you a problem when you first play the game. I'll give you a little boost. I'll shoot behind. <laughs> Rocket propelled. And we will get enough air to jump over this little uh, crack in the ground there. And uh, we're off. We can now head to the next portion of the level. Uh oh, Looks like they are waiting for us here. Of Go course. ahead and shoot everybody you can. Go get them. Good luck. I'm out of here. <laughs> I will leave you to fend off the Warthog. And make sure it doesn't get really destroyed. Oh, damn it. Oh no! Damn it! The elites blocked what me in. What did you do? I went up top to try to get the. Uh, think oh I'm, fuck! Think we're going driving. Oh no! This is going gonna end driving. terribly. Drive. 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 Well, we'll see where they restart us. <laughs> that was my fault, really, because uh, I was trying to make a beeline for the. There's a little switch that turns on this bridge. I'll show you up here. Okay. Uh, right here, there's this bridge that we need to cross, but of course it is closed. And if you go up top, right there where I'm looking in my screen, there's a switch that turns that on. So I was trying to go up there real quick, turn it on and come back while you were, you know, in time to kind of uh, not miss a beat. I figured you'd be okay. But... Cool, man. Hey, feel free to share the game plan. You know, it helps. Oh, definitely. And, uh, yeah, man. Unfortunately, there was two elites up there that sandwiched me. <laughs> If it wasn't for that, I would have been good, but they literally sandwiched me, so I couldn't move. But, uh, yeah, these guys are not going to be too big of an issue. It's these bastards that are hiding up here. Come here. See if you can get uh, my back. I'm going to leave you right here, but you have a good view up where I'm going, because they're going to be trying to get me right here. Oh, here they are. See, look at that. I call bullshit. There's two of them. Come on. Show your face. I think they figured out our plan. Taking the smart ultimate. bastards. Here, draw them out, draw them out. Over here, dumbass. Oh fuck! I'm gonna go in kamikaze style. Fuck you! Yeah. To the head, bitch. Oh, there he goes. You All go. right, so if you just want to stay there, I'm just gonna turn on this switch, which will. Give us a path through this uh, structure here, underground structure. <clears throat> and I did mention, there we go, I did mention the Forerunners, but 
course, I do have to say at this point, we really aren't supposed to know about the forerunners at all. Of course, so yeah. Hell, we don't know anything. We don't know where the hell we are, and uh, pretty much we know about the Covenant, and, and not too much, really. All right, so let me get back in the uh, driver's seat here, and we can make our way through this uh, crazy-looking area. I have to say, this is not my favorite level. Uh, the second level tends to drag on a little bit, but once we get through with this level, the storyline really just kicks into high gear, and uh, shit gets crazy. I'm really digging it so far. There's been a lot of action. I mean, some games it takes so long to There's get into the, the, the gameplay. And... Yeah. A yeah, this game is infamous for just the grabbing you really immediately and pulling you into, uh, you know, the gameplay, the storyline, everything. Survivors. The main character, sure even, Master Chief. Uh, I gotta say, the Warthog controls are extremely unique. Not too sure where they came out with these. Um, you know, you'd think they would have just gone with the standard controls. Right. So the acceleration works. is the acceleration's up on the left trigger, correct? Yeah, basically you just point where you want to go. Uh, you know, you, acceleration, you just go up, and then with the right stick, you just point the camera, and that's where you're going to go. It makes for some interesting uh, drift turning, that's for sure. <laughs> Especially later on when we get some different vehicles. And this music is just about as epic as it gets. What do we have here? So we have another uh, escape pod here, but you can notice this time there are no dead bodies here. Yeah. Which means they got to be somewhere, right? They're not here. Obviously, our escape pod was filled with the dead carcasses of yeah. the people we were trying to escape with. Unfortunately, they didn't make it. We must find them. But these guys did make it. Where are they? What do we have here? Some lights? Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. Coming through. Let's try to hold on to the Warthog for as long as possible, maybe. Absolutely. Um, you know, infinite bullets. Yep. Better Most shields. importantly, infinite bullets, yeah. I mean, and, and also, to me, it's the most fun. Oh, boy. And speak of the devil. Well, um... Let's try that again, shall we? I'm assuming I didn't see it, but I'm assuming they stuck us there, and that's probably what went wrong. So I should point out that it is definitely best to keep moving uh, in places like this. So you're going to want to do some drive-by action. For sure. And also, uh, what's also good is with your turret there, if you can kind of shoot them, Obviously, that'll prevent them from shooting out, or you know, shooting or throwing grenades because they're too busy getting sprayed yeah. with bullets. You can also run over um, all the aliens if you can pull it off. Don't flip it. Oh boy! Abort! Abort! Flip it. How do you flip it again? Uh, press X. Oh no! Code red. Code red. All right, so as we fight through the many waves of Covenant here in this area, we gotta find the human survivors. There's somewhere around here. There's a game I did want to ask you about, a game that we will get to eventually. We'll play co-op just as we're playing through this one, and that is Halo 4. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, for the Xbox 360. That's the latest Halo game. Um, so how did you feel about that one? Did you like that one? Definitely, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, you know the story, the conclusion of the story. Uh, yeah. What can you say? Pretty damn epic. Yeah, and that'll be a fun one for us to play through co-op. I I don't know about you, but I haven't played through that game really co-op at all. So it'll be interesting playing it from that dynamic. Of course, I've beaten, I've uh, beaten single player, uh, you know, all the way through legendary, but I haven't beaten it on co-op. So that'll be interesting when we do finally get around to playing that game. It's going to be a while. We have many games to go through before we get to Halo 4. I can't seem to find any aliens around here now. I'm trying to think of where the humans are. I believe they should be down here. There they are. So this part's pretty cool. 
apparently they've been hiding under the surface to yeah. stay away from the Covenant. There's a whole troop down here. We're the good guys. Oh, they know who we are, that's for damn sure. And I bet you they're pretty glad to see us. Uh-oh. In fact, Friendly they're probably fire. glad to see two of us. Alright, so we managed to save the, the, uh, the humans. humans in this area. The humanoids. The survivors. So let's go ahead and grab in our Warthog and move on. These guys should be good. We can expect Foe Hammer. Oh, never mind. I was going to say Foe Hammer should come and scoop them up, but apparently there's some covenants that are waiting for them to come out. Actually. Oh, I saw two. Maybe that was the only one. Could have sworn. Oh, there you are. You will not work on me. Pretty sure he's dead. All right, so there we go. There's Foe Hammer coming on in, which means uh, that's our sign to go ahead and head out. Where did you leave the warthog? Damn it. Damn you. I know you have the keys. Dude, where's my warthog? Oh, there it is. Nice. Now, considering the warthog has the slippery controls, this is an area I'm going to want to be careful because I can easily drive <laughs> off the cliff here. Instant death. Here we go. Where are you at? You here? Oh, yeah. All right. We are off. All right, soldiers. Good luck to you. We'll meet you back at the base, wherever that is. I don't know. We're going to have to find a place. Oh, excuse me. All right. Now, I believe we came from this area, right? I don't know. That's the problem with this level, is that everything kind of looks the same. <laughs> that is definitely an issue with this level, where they're, they're expecting you to navigate all the, the terrain, to find all the survivors. Yeah. But unfortunately, it, it's very difficult because, first of all, it's the second level in the game, and this is the first time we're seeing the ring or the halo here, so we're not too familiar with it. What was over there? It's, oh, okay. It's, it's the shit picking them up. Yeah, yeah, it's just Foe Hammer scooping them up, and uh, we can go ahead and make our way to the next uh, area where we can find hopefully some more survivors. Here we go. Oh, we got a tail. <laughs> Fuck those guys, they will kill us. Get away from us. Drive, drive. This is very reminiscent of Jurassic Park when they are trying to escape from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's too bad they didn't have a uh, turret on the back of that Jeep. You know, considering they're handling dinosaurs, you, you'd think that wouldn't be a good idea. Right? Now, we have a similar situation here, Justin. Another, uh, looks like I can't get in here. We have another escape pod, but there are no humans here. No dead bodies, at least, which means they must still be alive somewhere. Yep. Let's see if we can find them. There are some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. All right, well, Ooh. thank you, Cortana, for the heads up. rock climbing. Four-wheel drive, baby. Go. Here we go. Oops. Um, sorry, Ed. Forgot about it. How could you? Oh, well, I'm sure he would have been eaten by a covenant anyway, so, you know, we did him a favor. All right, let's go ahead and fend off the waves of covenant that are no doubt going to try to come in and kill us. Or do they eat humans? Oh, I'm sure they do. They probably, uh, you know, every part of the body, they use eyeballs as olives and then martinis. All that stuff. I'm sure they have human bacon. All right. Oh. Sounds great. I'll tell you what, dri the driving is you know, kind of throws off the shooting. Yeah. Because every time you turn, my angle is changing. Yep, it's definitely. Not terrible, though. I mean, definitely something you got to get used to as uh, we stay still for a second. Let me get this. Uh, can't stand still too much, obviously, oh, yeah. because they will hit us with a grenade. Go, go, go. 
Whoa. Keep Damn. Going. We're shredding these Covenant no problem right now. We're doing pretty good. We'll see how many dropships they have coming and attack us. If we're lucky, uh, this might be one of the only ones. I know there's one more area I believe we're going to have to go to to find uh, some more survivors, and we should be good for this level. Right, we got a whole circle jerk of these guys over here. Another one bites the dust. Nice, and that does it for that area. Okay, so this is where all the guys were hiding out, and I believe this is probably the exit over here. Hopefully this will lead us to the final area. Alright. So what do you think the purpose of this uh, ancient device would be? Well, uh, I mean, that's a good question. I'm not sure. That's a loaded question. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, we know now, of course, because we played the other games in the series, that yep. the Forerunners are responsible for, you know, of course, doing, you know, they were the ones who made this structure, and we will find out that this is a, basically a super weapon. The, the halo is a weapon in itself that's used, used to destroy things. But, that said, all of the individual structures here on the, on the ring have their own devices. There's a cartographer that we'll go to, which... You know, of course, has the map of the of everything, and there's the control room. So we'll be seeing some uh, very important areas. Oh, watch out! Whoa, Nelly! Don't worry, I have super superhuman strength. Of course you do. I lift it like the world's strongest man competition. <laughs> but yeah, but as for the individual structures, I think it goes along the lines of where I said earlier how. The, uh oh, we got aliens here. We have. Uh, you know, where the Forerunners, they really don't believe in straight lines in this game. A lot of the structures yeah. don't make a ton of sense. Like, we're going to find ourselves going around some extremely long uh, hallways and pathways, even though we're going to probably find out that it's not exactly the fastest way to get there. <laughs> and uh, once again, pretty similar situation here. Another um, escape pod, no of course, they are somewhere around here. Let's find them once again. Yeah, I'm kind of drawing some uh, correlations between the Halo story and the, uh, you know, elements of the game and, and Mass Effect, the Mass Effect oh, really? trilogy. Nice. The way you said the Halo as a weapon, mm -hmm. you know, the Citadel is a is a main component of that whole series, and and in the end, also ends up being a weapon. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Really, course, but. Yeah, I haven't played the Mass Effect series hardly at all. I played, you know, probably two or three hours into the first one, which in Mass Effect time is the equivalent to, like, ten seconds <laughs> when you take the whole trilogy into account. Exactly. Same with Halo, too. You know, um, To me, they're both some of the best games ever. Mass Effect has more RPG elements, of course. Um, probably more fleshed-out story, I can imagine. Of course. So I have found the humans... Down here. Where'd they go? I, I lost the humans already. Jumping across. Back to the vehicle. I'm gonna go in there. I will come and help you out. I actually was trying to kill one of our human buddies who had a sniper. I definitely could use that, but he managed to get away from me before I could betray him. I'm here to save yeah. you. Oh, you're already dead. I will avenge your death. Been reborn. Where did you go? Face uh, me like a man. I don't see any elites around here. It I looks like just some jet. We have excessive vibration on the second player controller. <laughs> it is very convenient because it gives you a hand massage during your lengthy uh, play sessions. It actually helps out. What they really need is some kind of way to keep your hands from getting all sweaty. You know, after you're gripping a controller for an hour. I have seen some... Co oh, wrong seat. I have seen... Sure, I'll take over. 
Oh boy. <laughs> um, I've seen some controllers that actually did have some built in fans. That would be cool. Yeah, but I've heard bad things about them. Like they, I don't know if they overheat or they feel weird or something like that. Here's a bunch of grunts. Still no elites around here, Justin. I'm not sure where they could be. They're hiding, man. They're scared of us. Oh, uh, here we go. You're going to have to take them down. Show your face. Come on. Oh, boy. I've seen two. We're in between a rock and a hard place here. That is a great Rolling Stone song as well. Hmm. Let's see here. I, did, I don't think we There's killed them yet. Uh, Aliens drop it over on the other side of this. Is there? Rock here. Let's get him. We're gonna go around him. Got him. Ah, uh, I'm gonna try to run him over. Oh, uh, you killed them first. Damn, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh. Got one right there, man. Now, uh, one vehicle that I really can't wait to drive, which is going to be epic when both of us get to do it, is going to be the tank. Oh. The Scorpion tank. Completely epic in this game. <laughs> I think, now that I, I remember though, I think the second player can't do much. I could be wrong about that. We'll find out. I hope not. But I think the first player has control over both the cannon and the turret. Which oh, yeah. makes it so overpowered. They changed that in, in other Halo games. Well, I hope you're not right, man, because I would love to try that out. <laughs> Especially if you could do two players like, like that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, they do fix that. I mean, as, as you've seen in the, uh, you know, like Halo 3 and Halo 4, where they even have um, Covenant tanks, which are called Wraiths, where, same yep. thing, they have these gigantic plasma blasts that they can do. And you can have a second player jump into the turret at the same time. It's great for co op. Great for multiplayer as well. Yep. So there we have it. That is the last set of survivors. We we'll saved them all. Great job. The truth and reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers up spin. All right, and I think is that it? Or are they telling us? Yeah. All right. So there we have it. Before we jump in here, we'll go ahead and sign off for this episode. The next episode we're going to be playing a really serious level we'll be getting into some extremely crazy shit and uh, we'll be meeting an old friend our buddy captain keys it's time for a rescue mission justin good old cappy see you guys there